Hey loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Octavia and this is the Edit by OC where I talk about fashion, overall health and wellness, and lifestyle. So it is finally March, which means it's time to take off some of the layers. It's time to start shaving again and wearing some color. I'm so, so, so excited for the seasons to change and to welcome in the spring. So I feel like the fashion world has been in a frenzy. There have been so many incredible fashion week presentations. We had New York, Milan, London, Paris. So incredible. And the girls have really been eating up the street style. I have been so impressed with a lot of the looks, but let's go ahead and focus on spring 2023. So today we're gonna be deep diving into a few noteworthy trends from powerhouses like Who Wear What and Vogue and kind of see what their editors are saying are going to be the trends for spring 2023. And what I and many others love about fashion is that even though somebody said it's going to be on trend doesn't mean that it's actually going to be something that's a part of my wardrobe your war wardrobe what have you so we're going to take a deep dive into some of these key trends that are bubbling up to the top for 2023 um, i'll give you guys my take on them and let me know if there's something that you will be incorporating into your wardrobe so the first trend that we'll deep dive into is cinched in waist blazers so we have seen a lot of very oversized boxy tailoring over the past couple years i'm excited to kind of see some of the tailoring um be a little bit more fitted at the waistline and complementary to the waistline as someone who's relatively petite i feel like i get easily swaddled swallowed up by oversized pieces so i'm excited to kind of see some of the waistlines become even more cinched in and kind of accentuating the curves for me ascension waistline looks a lot more intentionally sophisticated um, before they were trying to do the whole relaxed chic sophistication not trying too hard but i kind of like elevating things and taking things up a notch we're also seeing a lot more drama with the shoulder pads we're kind of taking it back to the 80s with the huge shoulder pads cinched in waist either a straight line or peplum on the bottom while i don't think shoulder pads are super practical for the everyday woman i do feel like cinched in waist blazers are really really fun and a great addition to the wardrobe and if you want to add a statement piece go ahead and do your your shoulder pads and be a little bit dramatic with it girl not judging here i recently picked up a gorgeous blazer from asos it's floral print it has some cutout and it is cinched in at the waist i absolutely love this blazer i think it's so chic so cute very playful um and injecting a little bit of color in for spring as well so i'm so excited to style this blazer and wear it out to brunch or to um, go get drinks with the girls i think it's super super cute so the next trend that we'll dive into is the motocross trend this trend is kind of like a resurgence of uh reimagining the way that leather is worn um kind of more color blocking what i enjoy the most about this trend is the ability to kind of cross references with other trends so i'd love to see the motocross trend done with like the metallic trend or some of the chunky jewelry there's been a lot more stylists styling the motocross trend and leathers with very chunky chain link statement jewelry so i think it's really fun to kind of double up on the trends on this one and really do some of the silver and the metallics and pull in some of those chunky necklaces and details that really kind of pull the look together um i think it's really fun to bring in something a little bit more edgy and the less sophisticated than what we're seeing with the blazer trend another really fun trend that i would love to see incorporated in the motocross trend is the cargo pairing a motocross jacket with a pair of really chic fun cargo pants i think it's a look i think it's something that we can really play up the different trends that are happening right now so if you decide to play into the motocross trend i think you can do so in a way that is very chic very muted less statement or play all the way up and go crazy with the statement pieces and have a lot of fun with it 
So the next trend I want to dive into is the detailed denim trend. Let's be real, the girls over at Diesel really injected a lot of life back into denim. And I'll even give a nod to A. Goldie as well because they had the crisscross denim. We kind of started to see some playfulness with denim um, coming back into onto the scene a couple years ago. But I really feel like Diesel really took it up a notch when they started adding all of the buckles and frayed hems. We've just seen a huge resurgence of the way that denim is being done. Styles are a whole lot looser. We have the mom jeans coming back, dad jeans coming back. And even though styles are a lot looser, side note girl, don't be going and throwing away all your skinny jeans. Everybody's saying that skinny jeans are out, but girl, you don't need them skinny jeans. Trust me. I just think that the resurgence of denim and the way that denim is being done is so incredibly fun. These mom jeans and dad jeans are not new. So you can go out and thrift some of these incredible pieces to add to your wardrobe. You don't necessarily have to find something that's brand new. And before we wrap up on the denim, I have to talk about the long line denim maxi skirts that have come back. The long line denim maxi skirts really remind me of like Miss Frizzle on her off day. Like if you caught Miss Frizzle at the mall, she might be wearing a denim maxi skirt. Either way, the long line maxi skirts are a bit nostalgic. They remind me of 90s and early 2000s teachers. So once I get that out of my head, I might want to play into the trend. So for me, the actual piece is going to matter so much when it comes to incorporating this trend into my closet. So because I'm relatively petite, I feel like I would want to opt for a maxi skirt that's maybe knee length or shin length something that's not quite floor length because I feel like all of my 5'3 would be easily swallowed up into the skirt. <laughs> so I have another long line maxi skirt um, that is really, really cute, but it feels like a little bit too much fabric for me. So I would want to kind of play into the trend in a way that suits my style and my body type. So the next trend that we're gonna dive into is probably my favorite. So this is going to be sheer tops. I have absolutely been loving the sheer tops. I think last year I saw Lori Harvey style uh, just a sheer black top with a bralette underneath. Then she had on these black gloves that went all the way up to the elbow and then a pair of black slacks. That look just a for me i absolutely loved it i really feel like sheer tops are a great basic to add to your wardrobe um great if you're going to add it to your wardrobe for like a night out where you're just going to a bar or even going to grab drinks it's like a great piece that you can easily dress up or dress down layer or not layer i think a sheer top is absolutely incredible to add to your wardrobe I was actually on the hunt for the perfect sheer black long sleeve top and I found one on ASOS. I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute. I've been playing with different ways that I, I plan to style it. I feel like it'll be a really key piece for me going into spring and even summer because it's sheer. It's very lightweight fabric and you can easily, like I said, layer it up however you see fit. So for me, this next trend is no surprise. The girls are sick and tired of not being able to fit their phone, their lip gloss, and their wallet into their bag. So we're on the opposite extreme now. We are seeing big bags come into style again. <laughs> and for me, I absolutely love carrying smaller bags because I like to just have everything on the go but those bags that were so tiny that you could not fit anything in them was not practical right like why spend money on a luxury itty bitty bag like that's obviously going to go out of style and if you did girl kudos to you hopefully it'll be back so just hold on to that bag those trends will come back around but for me, I didn't go too far into the small bag trend. I kept it relatively reasonable. So I think one of the funniest things that I did in the small bag era was to purchase a hand sanitizer that was rectangular and flat so that I could fit it into my small purse along with my wallet and my phone. No keys could fit into the bag. Like, let's be real. Like, 
there's a maximum of a five item minimum and that includes lip gloss and lip liner <laughs> So I plan to indulge in the large bag trend, but do so in a way that's reasonable, right? So if I'm going out to the beach or if I'm going to like a workout class and I need to fit my water and things into my bag, maybe a sweatshirt or something like that into my bag, then a larger bag is practical. Now that I've proven that I can meet the five item minimum, I kind of like being able to kind of pack a little bit lighter and not have a ton of stuff with me when I'm going out places. I have been seeing so many incredible trends popping up like repurposing lingerie and nightwear and color trends like the new Bottega Green, lavender, red, stark white, not to mention all of the cores like ballet core. Like there's so many new trends popping up. So let's be real, a lot of these trends are not necessarily new but they're being researched and reimagined for today if there's a trend that you'll be rocking that i didn't mention in this video please leave it down in the comment section below let's talk about it there's a lot of things that are probably already in our closets that we just need to kind of dust off and bring back out so girl if you are not subscribed to my channel um what are we doing go ahead and subscribe because i have a lot more incredible content coming up and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.